you can feel the tension among the team after that most recent mission. And uh, well warranted. Near squad wipe. Uh, a lot of close friendships nullified. <laughs> uh, hopefully we don't have that happen this time. Uh, take a look too at everybody's new uh, beautiful top level gear looking super spiffy. Uh, the goal is to come home intact. Uh, today's trivia question is this. Who's the only soldier to win their to season's total kills title without going on Leviathan, excluding seasons which we did not reach Leviathan? A. Moya Freya Nils Dother. B. Sila Blake Hawk. C. Johanna Fire Loxley. Or D. Zoe Cola Durand. The answer? Well, it's one of those. And today's log comes from Hawkster, who's writing for Trell, one of our marksmen. Says, uh, I did hear Command lamenting the lackluster number of field medics on the field. The more the merrier, I'd say, but I don't think we're at the stage where we can afford new soldiers. When we pick up a new soldier from a lost city, for example, they're usually at sergeant or lieutenant. Hell, even the rookies are recruit and train are mostly just reserves or sent to covert ops. True, but that sentiment might be a little bit different if it were written today. Anywho, uh, let's do a quick overview and uh, see how everyone's looking. I'm trying to get like a, a decent view here of the new gear. So this is 14 got 10, looking solid. Uh, a couple of grenades here. This is a ragtag group, if you didn't see the loadout. Um, we lost a lot in that last mission. Um, thankfully, we did have to upgrade to the warden armor, so that's not too bad losing the armor pieces, but we did lose some guns, beam cannons, uh, plasma rifles and such, so. We're not going to see the top level gear here. Uh, Iggy does have a K90, thank God. Uh, but with some basic attachments, we did lose a bunch of those. This is the upgraded uh, skirmisher gear. We've got Musion over here with a basic shotgun. It's like five to six damage. But uh, truthfully, he's got the plasma grenade. He's, got a, he's going to be blowing things up every turn anyways, hopefully. Uh, but looking good in the new gear. Uh, Trell, we do have an exalt gauss rifle, thank you. With Sabo rounds, uh, we got to find a nice little Raptor's perch for her. Uh, six, I had to buy a new beam cannon. Uh, we were able to equip those Talon rounds. I'm going to see if when we unequip them next time, if that fixes the uh, the glitch. But either way, um, he is carrying Talon rounds here, and it looks like they're being applied appropriately. And then uh, Pool Mother is basically going to be here to fill up. 14 got 10 as often as possible. And she's got an exalt coil rifle with tracer rounds that she could grant um, to others. And you know what? Maybe what we do, maybe what we do, is we actually just start by giving some of these tracer rounds uh, to people that don't have uh, any type of ammo currently. So we can give to... Let's give to Iggy... And we're going to give these to Musion as well. Everybody else has something. Okay, where are we looking to go here? We're looking to go far, far away. All right, I haven't really messed with these camera angles for a while. So now when I do it, it's like, a, it's a bit awkward. Um, yeah. Anyways, where do I feel like running to that would be relatively safe? Let's go here with Pool Mother. Uh, 14 got 10. Just protect her. Units in patrol elite officer, elite trooper down that way. Okay. Now the question is, do we want to fight across the chasm? Maybe. Like if we have enemies down here, I feel like that would be kind of beneficial. Let's put Iggy in this section. Oh, I hope that's not too close. Oh my god. Crystalid here. Indicate that relay is feeding energy directly into their network. If you can destroy it, it may disrupt their efforts to isolate the transmitter. Yes, thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, let's put Musion here. Founding another node to destroy. Uh, six. We'll go here for now. And I have a I have a billboard as some potential high ground. Actually, that's not that's not bad. Let's put her here for now. 
we'll uh, we'll take our time to set up. Hopefully, these guys, I guess, could just walk in on ten here, which, yeah, I guess is possible. Okay, they're walking away. Thankfully. Oh, there! Oh, there's! Oh, there's another drop over here. Okay. We have a burrowed chrysalid over there. Ask me if I'm going to remember that. That's a trick. I won't. Okay, been on top X. Okay, trail go up. Now, <laughs> this is interesting because do we want to force something over here? Or do we just want to be really patient? Like, I'm thinking, thinking patience would be decent here. We are in no rush, really. Yes, Commander. Let's wait and see if something kind of patrols our way for the time being. Uh, I might swap these guys. Get six a little bit closer there. Uh, you're not going to do anything. And boom. Oh! Okay, that's like a batch of Archons. Tracking enemy patrol. Is there... An, this is a four squad? Oh, five squad? Huh. Alright, we are running the HEDP shells for armor crushing. I mean, this is... This is pretty good. We would get a pretty solid opener there that would hit a bunch... It would hit a bunch. Uh, the unit's carrying high explosive dual purpose shells that can be fired from a heavy cannon. They deal high armor piercing damage to a single target, moderate explosive to adjacent enemies. HEDP shells suffer a crit chance penalty when engaging enemies at squad site ranges unless sabot rounds are equipped, which we do have. So, uh, yeah, we do have. This is not bad. Uh, I do think I probably want to fire on the Decurion. It's showing that there's a lot of extra damage. Um, but if I shoot here, we're hitting all three. I think I'm going to go for this. And we're live. Damn! Okay, yeah, so it did destroy that guy. And it did damage the others, but the extra damage values are incorrect. Nice shot. Nice shot. That's not... We didn't even overwatch him. Abductor down here. Those two not active, actually. Very nice. I could justice this purifier. Tell me how much I don't want to do that. Uh, we do have Raptor's Perch. So she should be able to clean this up. That's one. And then I guess we go for this guy. Let's just see how else we're going to play this. 65 on the abductor. 90 here. Let's actually... Okay, so first thing. Let's reload 14 got 10. Now, that is going to remove the Sabo rounds, which could be an interesting little doodad to work with. This is going to get the hollow targeting. I hope we can do this just without moving. Beautiful. See if you can clean this up. Now, actually, hold on. What else do we have left? We've got Musion. Okay. Now, I don't know that Musion needs to be... Well... Hmm. Because I'm thinking, look, if we hit this 80, we still have a suppression. We could also then pull the uh, Purifier. But if we pull the Purifier up here, yes, he's easier to kill, but I don't want him to explode. That's 
that's the big issue for me. So let's go ahead and put this down. Very nice. 59 here, not great. Uh, we'll look to do a suppression there. Maybe we get a graze. Nope. And then Musion. Let's actually just take these. That's a guarantee for him. And we can finish up by hitting the Purifier, hopefully. Not quite enough to kill, but that's fine. If he does move, pretty decent chance of killing him. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. You love to see it. Okay. Not bad. We have seven turns going here. And nothing else detected. Interesting. It says one is active. I'm guessing that's the chrysalid. We'll use this round to kill any uh, little beacons that we see. Uh, get a reload there. Looks like... Okay, so we see one underneath. Man, this is actually kind of sneaky. So there's a drop over here, and I don't know... I, I guess it looks like they could come around this way. Which would be very interesting to me. We'll reload there. Reload Trell. And I think we just... I guess we grab the loot here. And Overwatch. I don't want to stay here too long. I do want to push in. But we know we had another group like very close by. So there's a decent chance they show up. Come on, baby. Come to us. Come on. We're making noise over here. For reals? Okay, let's get Iggy in. Not finding anything. I can move Musion a bit. Six will keep here. This can be like our, our firing squad. Okay. Uh, we can get a self reload here. There's something. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, yeah, that makes sense. That's why there's a billion Archons. Interesting. We might get some overwatches here. Okay, that... If that landed, that would have been really nice. That's big. Can we get that hollow targeting going, please? Pounce. Nice. That's actually really big. Oh, again? He got his Overwatch, he got Pounce, and he got his uh, weapons hot. That's what happened there. That is absolutely gnarly. And he landed them all. Even more insane. Okay, interesting. Now... Whoa, how are we going to play this? So... What am I most worried about? I'm most worried about... Icarus Drop, Devastate, 
that's it. Those are the things. Those are the things I'm most worried about. Uh, now, the question is... Can I disorient him? I can. We have... Uh, where is it? We have the concussion grenades. Can I reach this? No, of course not. Let's see if I can move him into here. You know what? This might be worth it. Oh, no. That's not even him. Oh, no. I'm not even close. Okay, hold on. <clears throat> so... I guess what I'm looking at here is... Instead of shooting straight up... Is it hollow targeted already? Should be. Maybe not. I guess it doesn't get the hollow target on the Overwatch. For some reason I thought that it did. I'd really like for it to. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Uh, I don't want to reload because I, I don't want to give it an action to move. I want to get the suppression on first. Withering Barrage, maybe? Man, we don't have any damage over time. Okay, we got the Withering on that first Archon. Man! He is landing. That's really impressive. Okay, now... Oh, we could do this now. Now, it's already disoriented, um, so this would give a bit of damage. But is that the most damage I could do? No, I could precision shot. This is what we want. And then it gives that one action stun, which is decent. It'll cancel out a reaction, I think. Sick. That's big damage, baby! Now, I'm going to resupply 14 got 10, but I also want to resupply here. Reload in progress. 74. Or I go for the extraneous damage. I should save this for something with armor. I'm not really gaining much otherwise. Also, do I overdrive here? Do I overdrive here? Hmm. I feel like it's going to call its gate pretty soon. We're putting a ton of damage in. But dealing with these other threats could be kind of nice too. I'm gonna do it. I realize that means he doesn't have an out immediately, but I don't know if that's maximum value using that HEDP shell here, so we're gonna do this. Dodged. Damn. Okay. Oh, it's, it's summoning. Okay, wow. Sick. That's beautiful. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, you know what? Let's use, uh, Musion now. It's gonna disorient those two Archons as well. Not gonna be able to stop him from getting out. Even if we frost it, it doesn't really do a whole lot. Okay, see you later. 
Maybe next time we can kill it. That was pretty solid. So what else do we have left? I could just reload him. Which is pretty value. Or we could laser grenade, but they're both disoriented. I kind of feel like we can handle them via other means. I'm going to resupply six because he's got the kill zone. And if people come into this, I want him firing as often as possible. That's a pretty solid opener. Now we have eight turns to get where we need to get to. These shots are not amazing. And I definitely don't want to pull us into that. Oh, I could have maybe looked at using Whiplash on the uh, King there. Okay. Oh, that's big. That's big. The team is feeling it right now. Guy's okay, still alive. Um, do I believe six is going to hit them? Maybe. They have pretty high defense is the only problem. If I use the laser grenade... Depends if we run into other units with armor, right? That's the problem. And same with the frost. I don't know. This is a tough call. If these guys really hurt me. I'm going to feel bad, but... Let's do the reload. See what happens. Six, carry us to victory, pal. Okay, well, that's a no man's land. Whiff. Wasn't going to kill it anyway, but. Coming up for pinions, okay. Not the end of the world, slightly annoying though. Damn it. <laughs> Only 40 aim. There you go, there you go, there you go. Okay. So we do have a we do have a pinions problem. Who's overwatched here? This guy. I need 13 on that. Um. Hmm. Let's throw this. I'm looking to pick up the kill with uh, with Troll. That's nine. Solid start. Now, what I'm thinking is, we try and, uh... We try Pool Mother. Get the hollow targeting going. If I Thunderclap this, quite a bit more damage. And it's a single target. Oh. Now, does hollow targeting apply on that? Or is that only for standard shots? Maybe it's only standard shots. What's over there? You've got to move. And you've got to move.
I mean, yes, we're flanked, but... There's a very small chance that we actually kill this thing. 7 to 10 damage at 87 is pretty good. Takes him down to 4, and then we basically have two 50-50s. <laughs> Which isn't horrible. Could also use the whiplash, but... Let's see if these hit. If... Okay. Ammunition nearly gone. So if Musion's shot lands... Come on. If Musion's shot does land... Then we take the kill shot. With six. But it did not happen. Okay. So let's do this. We're gonna suppress instead. I mean... It could happen. I think this is safer. Oh, withering. Yeah, nice. Whoa. Oh, that could be problematic over there. Nice. 88%. Okay, guys. Good job so far. Six does have some cover, at least. Holy smokes. Okay. Musion. We gotta get moving in now. How many are left? Nine? That's a lot. Now there's that chrysalid over here and that group at the beginning that dropped back behind. I'm gonna try and stay away from that for a second. Let's take this. There we go. That's that honor guard that we saw. Seventy-seven to justice him here. Does he have any type of uh, like blade storm thing? No, he doesn't. Let's see if we can get him out here. Come on, Iggy. Land it! Land it! The suspense is killing me, Iggy! Oh, now we're talking. Well, I was just gonna say, we're jacked up on the heat, so that's pretty big. She can take this now. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, this is going very well so far. So far? Good thing we got that chosen information. That'll come in handy. I mean, yes, I'll take this. He's in full, so we're getting that big damage reduction, but... Now, six. We do need to get moving to the other side, I think. So we'll do this. And Pool Mother, maybe I can get, like, right there. Into that little half-cover spot. Or not. We can take this half-cover spot. This isn't too bad. Oh, I should have reloaded him first. Dumb. Dumb, dumb, dumb. Oh, sick. The shots are landing, guys. The shots are landing. Oh, I think that might be the group from the start. They've done a big workaround here. Good job, Musion. Okay, 
mich erwischt. I like Iggy's spot there. Even if he gets shot at. Oh, he's not. Damn, those bleeding rounds. For real? Okay, so she's getting an extra action at least. Okay. It says three active. Chrysalid, right? Chrysalid. First of all, we launch, we disorient, we injure with intent to kill. What cover? Let's give her this and then she can reload. God, what a sick spot for her up on that billboard. That is so cool. Forty-one there. I'm gonna bring fourteen. Got ten here to see if we're in reload territory. We're not. Sixty-four there only. I could put the hollow targeting on, but I'm I'm looking to see if I can get a reload on 14 got 10. Oh my god, 6. Absolute monster. Two 64s. Well, he's only got only got ammo for one. Okay. I don't want to wrath in there, and I don't want to run in there. It's too risky. We're managing this very well at the moment. I mean, this is the kill, so... I can't really... Oh, she did get an extra action, though. Right? She got that reflex action here. I even called that out. So, what I could do... Let's bring 14, got 10 up. She resupplies him. Then she takes her shot. There we go. Get effed. God, this is the kind of mission we needed. All right, four turns. How many enemies left? Five. One of them's a chrysalid over here. Yes. Okay. I see our objective. That's a confirmed visual on the transmitter. Plant the X4 charges before they can cut it off from the network. I'm a little concerned about where these other enemies are. I think we're going to overwatch him. Uh, I guess that'll be okay. Maybe we'll take this shot. Keine Munition mehr. Overwatch Trell. Beautiful. We'll reload six. Give him as many chances to fire upon stuff as possible. Reloaded. Come get some. Scanning 
for targets. No trespassers. And then you chill. I mean, we've been making a lot of noise, so I'm really surprised that the enemies aren't just running. I go as ordered. They must just be in a weird spot somewhere else. Um, let's move six up there. Saves a move. She can reload. I'm, I'm, I think I'm just gonna leave Trell here, like, she's got the high ground over everything. The, I guess the biggest worry is something walks up right here, and she gets poofed out of existence. Okay, I'll go. And maybe I should do something similar here. Proceed I'm not gonna have the overwatch, which I would like to have, but it's fine. Get a reload in oh, yeah. here on Musion. Overwatching here. I'm on it. Oh god. Oh god. I see armor. Okay. Uh, they are. Oh my god. They are coming from a flanked position. Oh my god. Okay. 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 Um. Not, it's not horrible if they don't take some really nasty yellow alert shots here. Okay, that's a split codex. Oh, he weapons hotted it! Chrysalid's coming in hot. Ripjack. Great. Great. Okay, well, not not bad. That was actually, um, it's actually fine. And we have our overdrive available. So, big boy was back there. Oh, does this is this is his new launcher like beam cannon esque or uh, blaster launcher esque? I think so. have to go find that thing. Um. Okay. First thing first. We have three turns, okay? We have three turns. We'll whiplash here. Seems about right. We're gonna try and pull the shield bearer for easier shots. I don't know where he's gonna fit up here, but I guess we'll find out in what two seconds. His retributions could kill each of those. But we'll go for other stuff. I just want to find that other unit. There it is. Muton Devastator. Okay. Pistol, Lancing Shot. Creates vulnerabilities and targeted enemies, making them take more damage. Thunderous Lash. Lightning Vengeance. Retaliate against melee attackers. Black Flame Grenade. And the Trap. Okay. 100% shot there. We love to see it. Uh, we're going to overdrive for sure. Now, <laughs> we have the we have the HEDP shell, which would take him down quite low. Um, 
but the frost would really just ensure that it's safe, you know? Yeah, I'm going to do that. We might even still be able to take him down, but... Frozen. Laser grenade there. Musion. Plasma grenades. We take the extra damage precision shot. Then he probably is dead. That guy's alive. Serious? Okay. Then we're gonna zone suppress these two. Might withering barrage this. Okay, got one. And then pool mother. Reload six. I would use thunderclap in this scenario, but. Here I am. It's killing time. Who's shiftier? They both have the same defense. Oh, Musion can take this. Or should he shred? I think we'll count on the Shield Bearer getting Retribution or hit by, um, by six there. Get some Shred there. Some laser grenade. Precision shot. Beautiful. Oh, actually well played. Okay. We need uh, non colonels to try and get kills here. Fine. Let's give the Devastator to. Cool mother. It worked. Black flame. Sick. We get stuff on this mission, don't we? Oh, I just realized we gotta go here. <laughs> Damn. Okay. I can't believe you survived that. Still engaged. Okay, baby. It says there's one remaining. Is that a hidden chrysalid somewhere? The X4 charges are active, but the aliens are still working to isolate the transmitter. Eliminate any remaining hostiles before they cut it off. Overwatch. He's immune. He's got that uh, that med kit. Thankfully, we threw a couple on because we are lacking a, a field medic. Okay, so who's going to explore for this? I guess it should probably be fourteen. Got ten. Movement engaged. Utilizing hook. 
and then we'll maybe have people just sitting high ground. Get a reload on Pool Mother. Oh, there we go. At least we know where he is. We'll start running Trell over. On out. Really? Really, really? Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna overwatch each of these guys. I'll move six a little closer. Pull mother closer. I'm overwatching first so that if it runs at me, we can maybe get it. Where is it? I see you! Oh, looks like we whiffed that shot. Trajectory failure. Oh, but so did they. <laughs> Alright. Cool mother, you can have this one as well. Yeah. Guys! That is what I'm talking about. That is the mission that we needed real bad. Cool, what a confidence boost. That's big. Okay, MVP on 14 got 10, 46 damage. Wi-Fi destruction. Iggy, uh, 8 for 12, 63. Musion, 3 for 6, 31. Uh, Trell, 9 for 9, 86. Wolf, 14 for 17, 102 damage. I'm not sure how he didn't get MVP there, but... 9 for 9, 45 damage. Cool Mother makes a good case, too. I guess he just got a lot of awards. So I'm not arguing about. It's good. Onion Gauntlet was a success. Thank God. And next time we see the king, pretty good chance we kill it. The soldier that joined us from the resistance is certainly a quick study. A couple Having of scratches. Shaken? Of Bro. Capabilities. Oh, he's finally got a soldier bond. No, he doesn't. I think he had one that was higher, but uh, she's no longer around. So, we got a bipod, a core, codex brain... Black Flame Grenade. Very nice. And uh, Gone to Ground. Countered. F right off. Okay. <sighs> Deep breath. Deep breath. Whoops. 
So now there's a situation. Um, Illyrium and Alloys basically non-existent. Uh, which means any opportunity for us to get Alloys would be beneficial. Um, I think I will try to gather these supplies here. And we're also going to be reliant on trying to get... Oh, really? Hold on. I don't have any sergeants. Look at everyone's injured. Okay, here we go. Sorry. Um, 61 on 70. 62 on 70. Let's send double Z. And we'll send one of our assault infantries here. Who needs the aim? Well, I mean, his is... We could, his is already pretty high, but he's got a higher level as well, so tough to say. Let's send Bobo. Unequip the barracks here. See, there's this there's something that's I'm noticing um, oh maybe that's part of just the auto equipping stuff so I don't know there's a weird um, I don't know if it's a bug or maybe just this kind of a quirk where certain slots are getting automatically tied to stuff and I feel like that's kind of what's at the at the heart of six's ammo getting bugged but we will begin the no way. action immediately commander also, I might go here for rumors just to see if there's any alloys that pop. I do need to get uh, Cloista McCain. Some levels. And this is only five days. And this is an optional slot for wounds. Do we have any other real rookies? I'll send Laposado out. Yeah, why not? Seven days for these two. Sure. Okay, now we need... <laughs> a couple things. We're over-infiltrating here. This is probably going to switch up our enemies. That's looking kind of scary. Mission timer increase here. We're destroying a relay. Uh, I think I'm just going to max infill here. It is a lost mission, but we saw how out of control that got recently. I guess it depends on those other enemies, like, pretty heavily. Um, I guess we go for rookies. We all of a sudden have some space. We are going to have a retail at some point, right? Avenger plotting new course. I've lost track of when that's going to occur. Our soldiers took some hits Okay, two cores. Covert action. Shield bear Word corpses. Is, they'll all be fine. Priest corpses. Muton corpses. All right. Um, we could go to the black market to get money, but that's not really what I need. What I need is was, is intel. Um, so after these rookies, I'll scan for intel. We're researching intel. Rescue scientist. Hmm. I don't know if that's something I need. Okay, so well rehearsed. 32 enemies listed. Each soldier in the squad gets an extra basic utility item. Yep. That's good for me. Uh, do we have any, like, removing of bad sit reps? No. Like, the hunt. I guess once the enemies are generated, maybe these ones are things that you can't remove. We're gonna have a new spark here. 
Spark 08. Oh, you know, I was just gonna say, I feel like we're probably out of Spark submissions. Yeah. So, what I'll do is... Let's just quickly check here. Yeah. I'll look to see if there's any uh, extra submissions that I haven't imported to this point. And if there are, I will replace this spark with them. Um, we have two pioneers, we have an infiltrator, and we have an artillery. Yeah, let's go artillery. I never expected to go through this many sparks, so... I don't think anyone did. Some of our people are hey, there's some intel. After that last covert action, but if we give them time to rest, they'll be fine. Avengers I'm immediately going to the black market to buy alloys. We're going to let that go. Market is open. Okay. Okay. 50 there. So what do we need more? Illyrium or alloys? Right now it's alloys. So we'll take that. Okay, pool mother's back. Maybe I'll do a quick sale while we're here. They can take my exalt shard gun. Take some trooper corpses. I had a lot of people at the beginning of the season say that we should um, get rid of all of our data caches because we never use them. Yeah. That's literally been keeping us in the game, I think, long term. I'll sell all these basic suppressors. We have better ones. Gatekeeper shell we need to hold. I'm going to keep our mag rifles because, uh, as you could see before, we needed that. Muton Corpse. Predator Armor I'll keep. You never know. Back to the rookies. Avenger plotting new course. Okay, a couple promotions there. Very nice. We just throw them right back in. Let's do the promotions first. Squad site's pretty big. Overload with this enemy uh, mod list I think is really nice as well. But I can't argue with squad site range, that's really tough. Oops. How long until our sparks come back? They're only gone a week, so I'm just curious. Is rumors, right? Four days? Okay, yeah. I was I wanted to check if we could put him in here. A couple of flashbangs. We use those a lot, so that's good. But our troops will all recover after some well-earned rest. Supply drops in five days. That's nice. Um, 
Exalt HQ. We just need to... We need to get uh, all of our top level gear. This will probably be a mission where we take literally everyone that's at the top. Top level gear, top level people. Look at these things. So, I gotta read about the Sectopod Hunters to see if they're what's bringing in that big um, Sectopod Annihilator or if that just shows up on its own. That looks pretty scary. Like, that's plus Exalt, right? That could be absolutely insane. Okay, we're at 200 now. Yeah, I mean, we're committed. We're just going to go all the way. What is this to remove? Yeah, barrier. That's right. Sick. I suppose since that worked, we might hey. as well keep it up, Commander. Colonel on Merzer. That's well deserved. Very well deserved. I think we'll take destructive nature. Maybe grab that minefield later. Oh, are we not building anything? We could look for more gems, but honestly, like, the gems we have are pretty solid. We'll see. The PCSs are important, obviously. Okay. Bastet Yehia, Dawn Walker, and Mace Diable. Ooh, Diable is, um... We've seen an Exalt Diable a couple times. Intel there. I mean, yeah, not bad. I think it'd be better if we just scan for Intel. Because then we don't have to worry about getting interrupted. Let's meet our three new rookies. That's awesome. Okay, Bastet Digger Yehia. Let's see what you're all about. Born in the deserted wastelands of Al Farafra, now referred to as one of the dead zones hit by the invasion, Bastet Yehia grew up familiar with struggle. The idea of working hard every day to put something on the table was not new to her, and yet. This was going a little too far in her book. After spending three and a half years digging through ruins of what would have been a fascinating archaeological site, she decided it was time to pack up and move on. The ruins would have been a historical treasure. Instead, Advent had turned them into a no-man's land. Anyone caught in the area usually disappeared. She was tired of the dust and the dirt and scraping by, eating rats and sidewinders. She was done digging in the ground. She was an archaeologist at heart, but this world was not made for her. Now she has to make do. Give up her dream and move on. Survive instead of thrive. Similar to the lives of the people whom she was trying to uncover from the ancient Egyptian era. Ironic, she thought to herself, as she was packing up her gear, she began to hear loud explosions in the distance. She was used to hearing Advent personnel, uh, personnel carriers, but this was more like battle war. Or battle. War. Sounds she hasn't heard in a long time. As she investigated the sound, she saw an Advent structure with five people moving in unison toward the back door. They clearly weren't Advent. Something was familiar about them, though. They moved like the actors in the movie Special Forces she'd seen as a young girl. She watched them from a distance and listened to the sounds of gunfire and explosions. Things got quiet. Suddenly, there was a little hovering drone flying up to her. She got up and ran until she was shocked and couldn't move. The five people, humans as she could see now, walked up to her. Clearly intent on taking her captive, she yelled out in Farsi, Friend! Friend! And then in her best English, repeated the word. After Bastet explained, the past three years of what she was doing, the troops of XCOM took her on a flying ship and gave her food, water, and soap. Three and a half years in the desert hasn't been kind to her clothes. Now, though, she's found a group she can dedicate her energy to. She was given the nickname Digger in honor of her archaeological background and the graves she would dig for the alien menace. Well written. Very cool. Very, very cool. Nice look, too. I love it. Awesome. Happy to have you here. Happy to have you. Okay. Dawn Radiant Walker. Ooh. What's going on there, I wonder? Let's find out. From America. Dawn was once a normal student. Her grades were top of her class, and she dreamed of entering the military. But disaster struck that kept her from having that dream. 
Dawn had cancer. Oh, boy. The process was swift for Dawn and her family to learn that her cancer was growing rapidly. Lack of... I imagine this is funds? And lack of improvement led to Dawn having to make a hard decision. Instead of her family having to spend money they didn't have for no improvement to come, she decided to die and live the rest of her time doing that which she wanted to do. A week after the decision, she was out with her family at a local coffee shop. They were sat outside having some iced coffee when Dawn heard a crack in the sky. She looked up to see ships dart out of the dark gray clouds and metal pods hit the ground around the city. These pods irradiated green mist out of them and anybody near these pods gasped for air, unable to breathe. Then one crashed through the coffee shop right near Dawn. It sprayed that green mist at her and it clung to her face. The sensation it gave was a hot burning. There's the burns. Dawn could feel her face burning from his contact and she screamed. Re breathing, I think this is uh, writhing in pain. She got up from her table. The alien ships had descended into the onto the streets of the city and started abducting people or killing them. Her instinct was to run and she did. But she made the mistake of looking back at her family, seeing them get slaughtered by a muton. She cried out towards them, and a nearby sectoid heard her cry. He smiled and gave chase. Dawn ran into a nearby subway station, and the sectoid was right on her tail. All of a sudden, she froze in place, unable to control her movements. And she turned and faced the sectoid. Its arm was reaching out towards her, and she felt compelled to go to him. But in her mind, something fought it. She felt that similar burning sensation that she felt when the mist hit her. And the connection broke. Confused, the sectoid looked upon his own hand and reached out again. She froze, but it dissipated again. Her eyes glowed a yellow-green, and the, she smirked at him, running onto the two-way subway tracks. The sectoid, now angry and curious, gave chase again, but he didn't look before he leapt uh, onto the tracks as a speeding subway train smashed right into the sectoid. Dawn dropped to catch her breath, and she looked down at herself. Purple veins went through her body. She didn't know why. The head pain was that was once there was gone. Dawn survived the creation of the Lost and the arrival of the aliens and her cancer. She eventually came into contact with XCOM at a resistance camp looking for recruits. Finally able to fulfill her military dream, she volunteered. Doctors did checkups and found psi energy radiating through her at a more stable state. Whatever she is, one thing Dawn knows is the things used against her Advent will see what it feels like to have it dished back. Awesome. Love that. Great tie-in. Cool look, too. Nice little twist with the psionic um, stuff, I guess, flowing through you. Very nice. Thanks for joining. And Mace Chort Diable. Okay. A lolly a day keeps the devil at bay. Mace Chort Diable. She, they, 2035. Yes, my feet are cold. No, I don't want your stinking slippers. I want my wedges, and I'm not leaving until I get them. You know, the ding-dang shoes I was trying on when your mother flippin' boy band shot the store up brown with beige soles by St. Laurent, or St. Lauren? <laughs> Real leather. They were on sale, too. Do you think a single mother can afford these at full price? I love this writing already. Very cool. All right, listen, soldier boy. You're lucky you caught me on my good day. I know you were trying to help. Let's face it, though. You're the ones who led Advent soldiers to the store in the first place, and now I'm sitting here and my feet are cold. I was supposed to be home hours ago. I bet Stanley's gonna quit on me. Do you know how hard it is to find a decent babysitter? One who doesn't fill your kid's head with Advent propaganda? This is the last time I helped one of you. Yeah, that's right. Your little Rambo would be dead if it weren't for me. Bet you didn't read that in your fancy report. Oh gosh, Kevin must be worried sick about me. That's my son. Not that you care, clearly, since you're keeping his poor mother away all day. We were supposed to go to the movies tonight. There's free popcorn today. Bet he thinks I left him just like Carla did. That's my wife, ex-wife for all I care. Disappeared about a year ago without much, of, uh, so much as a note. Well, let me tell you something, Mr. Commander. I love my kid more than anything. And you've got an ounce of conscience, you'll get off your arse this instant and go buy me the shoes so I can be on my way, size nine. Wait, you know Carla? What do you mean she? No, she'd never. So Carla is the other Diablo in Exalt. I believe it's Carla Diablo. Of course she did. Freaking course she left us to join Exalt. Okay, yeah, I'm a little ahead of myself. It all makes sense now. The silence, that douche ballon. <laughs> Oh, she's gonna get it. I'm gonna rain hellfire upon her, sir. I'm in. I mean, I'm joining you. I mean, I'm now a part of your resistance thing. Sir, with utmost respect, I couldn't be more clear. So what's your daycare services like? <laughs> that is really, really impressive. Great writing. Like, immediately you're into the character. There's, she uses, like, a couple of little... Not slang, but she has a certain way of speaking that makes you, um... Immediately... She kind of just resonates with you, you know? Uh, fear of psionics here, very interesting to have that, considering the backstory. 
And then dense head and shell shocked. Chance to panic upon enemy use of explosives. That's actually interesting too, with like an archaeological background, sometimes associated with like blowing things up to like reveal hidden stuff below the surface. Kind of cool. Um, genius, standard, and gifted at the bottom. Very cool, guys. Happy to have you here. Okay, now. I think we go for intel. Avenger plotting new course. Crew is back up to 49 already, albeit we're trading, we traded a lot of uh, mid-high level soldiers for not that. Commander, there were a few wounded Okay, Koenig's combat intelligence action. boosted. But after a few days rest, everyone will be ready to get back out there. Do we have anyone training? Oh, we don't even have anyone training inside. That's right. Um, hold on. I guess reactors got to get in there, hey? I, I, I wish I would have... I wish I would have, uh... Had him in there earlier, because we've... We've spent a lot of time scanning. That means I'm not going to have a field medic for a while. Okay. Enemies activating the XCOM turn lose one action on their next turn. This is pretty good. I mean, it, it's kind of hard to do in yellow alert to take full advantage of it, but whatever. We're going to max it out. New assault mission to protect the device. For 95 intel. Hmm. The hunt is here. Berserker Omegas. Fun. Space Age from the 7th Dimension. Ah! Okay, no. That's the other thing. We're going to have to rebuy a bunch of blue screens. Against the Elders, we find nothing but success. Alloys and Crystals. <laughs> they read our mind. I mean, I guess I'm going to go for that. Instead of scanning here. If this was just Alloys, I probably wouldn't do it. I can't believe how many, like, we have, we have this big gap, right? Colonels, Majors here, a couple of Captains. Lieutenants are pretty heavy, but then pff, our low end is just wild. So McCain got 2 XP, and uh, Leposado got, I guess, maybe some. It's fine, I guess. When this new month hits... Oops. We're gonna let that expire. Avenger Let's go here. Course. These are long scanning times. I do get asked pretty regularly, like, why don't I go for these scanning sites more often? And it's usually, like, 12 days is half a month where I'm scanning here. Um, I could be healing my soldiers faster. I could be building faster. Like, these... Headquarter scans are very, very powerful, and I think um, they're quite a bit stronger than this. But in this specific scenario, these are what I need, so that's why I'm going to invest the time here. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to superior down, focus we'll and to solace. Fast. Very cool. Like solace PCS is nice. Superior focus, we don't have a great use for. It's like. It's to boost will, and I guess you could argue we should put that on um, on uh, Psy operatives and stuff once they're graded, but then you're foregoing Psy offense boost from a Psionic PCS, and then it's a tribute, it's, it's uh, extra skill that you get. We completed our research in remarkable time, Commander. Okay. Data cache, 104 Greetings, intel. Commander. Done. Now. Okay, what's going to be our biggest bang for our buck here. Yes, these weapons would be great. Specifically, the uh, Dark Lance would be huge. Or I could go into the Archon to get to the Plasma Lance. You know what? I'm going to get the Dark Lance first. I will make that our highest priority. Thanks. And it looks like we're maxed out. Okay. So... We have to take this mission. 
And it looks like, if I don't know if you guys saw, but there is a space egg from the seventh dimension in here now, which is always fun to see. Codex, Muton Destroyer, Scion, Lord, Armored Trooper, Elite Pathfinder, Hunter. This is very intense. This is very intense. Uh, do I have any blue screens on anyone? We've got the Black Flame here. Rage Suit. The Lures. Uh, Viper Rounds. Phantom Slayers. It's armor piercing, but man, does, uh, does this ever not inspire confidence? But um, it is destroy the relay. So if things get like really out of control, we could always leave. It's only to counter the barrier dark event. And I mean only at like, yes, it would be great for us. Very good. But it's not worth risking my soldiers. So, um, yeah. Uh, let's launch the mission, and I'll see you guys on the other side. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. We'll see you in the next one, where hopefully everyone comes back alive. That would be great. Bye for now.